It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. Thank you. This is for you! So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame! But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth! Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil. Come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them. We got them. Uh, Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. So it may feel like we've finally gotten things a little bit back on track. We've moved away from all the divergences from the original story, but no, that really isn't the case here. Of course, it is possible for us to move on with the story and go forward and attempt to save Eris, but the game has a little bit of a problem here, at least in my opinion. There is a an issue we'll, we'll get to in a second. There's some more dialogue coming up. Hey, you! Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right. I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. And there it is. The side quests. Now that is going to end up messing us up a little bit. Well, not really messing us up, but messing the story up a bit. The original game wasn't really intended to have a whole lot of side quests holding your character up from progression through the story at these parts of the games. So, it was much tighter in terms of how it progressed through. In terms of this game, the remake, it messes that up just a little bit because, well, we're at a certain point in the game where it really only makes sense that Cloud... Tifa and Barrett will be heading straight to the Shinra Tower in order to save Aerith. But because this is really the last opportunity the game has to throw side quests at us, they're going to do it. And while I think it's definitely an option to go and just head straight to the Shinra Tower, the game kind of encourages you a bit to go and do some of these side quests. And if you do what I do, you go and do all of them. And that kind of grinds the story to a halt. 
the tension was building, and it was getting more intense, and really sort of the peak point of tension is when you, in the early portions of the original game, was when you broke into the Shinra Tower, and, well, we're at that point in the story, and we're not going to do it. It's going to slow down. It's awkward. Oh, hey, uh. Betty, I'm so glad to see you're okay. You too. Uh, where's Marlene? Is she okay? Don't worry. She's safe. Really? I'm so glad. Hey, can you help me with something? I'm looking for music discs for the jukebox. I think some new music might cheer people up, make them happy. That's a wonderful idea. Okay. If we find any music discs, we'll bring them straight to you. You just promised to crank up the volume, all right? You know I will. Thanks! You know what, if the side quests had some kind of involvement in what's actually going on in the game, then it would make a little bit more sense. It would fit a little bit better. But a lot of these side quests are just crap like Betty having to find her records to put in her jukebox. Or that guy with the chocobos. Or all sorts of stuff like that. I think maybe you could say the stuff that happens with Corneo fits a little bit better. But so much of it just comes across as a waste of time. And it's like, okay... We gotta go and break in the Shinra Tower, but hold on, I gotta go find some music for this little kid. It's... It defies traditional storytelling techniques. And, I mean, I get that it's an open-world RPG in this case, and they have to throw in side quests, they have to be there. But I feel like, maybe at this point in the game, it made perfect sense to just sort of take away the ability of the player to decide to do these kinds of things because the story sort of demands that the story be pushed forward. And the, the Shinra Tower dungeon is going to be a long one. So it, even then, it sort of slows down a little bit, a little bit, even without the side quest being jammed in there. So... Hell, I mean, I don't know. What are you going to end up doing about it? Complaining about it on the internet. That's what everybody does. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Perhaps if the game story was stretched over a larger portion of the original game story, this would not be such a problem. I think if the second chapter in this uh, remake series takes place from the period of it's the point of you stepping over the walls of Midgar and ends in the City of the Ancients, which is comparatively a little bit longer portion of a game, but not a hell of a lot longer. I mean, you'd have the, um, the Junon portion, and then you'd have the Coast del Sol, then you'd have Corel and Gold Saucer, then... Cosmo Canyon, Nibelheim, Rocket Town, Temple of the Ancients, and then you would then head to uh, then head to the City of the Ancients, and then Aerith would die. It makes a little bit more sense there. It's just a longer stretch of game to pepper side quests into, rather than these large blocks that occur at these uh, different sections of the game. So maybe it'll turn out better then. But we'll see.